and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today I'm going to be doing a like skincare routine day and night because if you follow me on Instagram or you have me on Facebook as a friend you'll know that I've been struggling a lot recently with my skin especially on my chin also before we get into this ignore my hair I've just washed it just had a shower been in the gym all morning um but yeah what I was saying was that I've had really bad skin on my chin and like around my nose for the last few weeks and it's all because of this mask kind of stuff it's called mask me apparently so yeah it's been a struggle it's not been very nice <laughs> I'm used to having like really clear skin. I get like red spots and like, like you do, just like little red blemishes, but I've never had really bad spots. Um, I honestly didn't get a picture of it when it was in the like height of it because I was just so down about it. I'm gonna be showing you I've changed up my skincare routine. I was clean eating for like four weeks to try and get rid of it. So let's get into it. So the first thing I would recommend is drinking lots of water. I can't recommend this enough. I know it's such a cliche one and I've always been like, yeah, well I drink enough water, blah, blah. I wasn't drinking enough water before where now I'm drinking gallons of the stuff. It just makes you like glowy, hydrated and it shows in your skin. Besides like drinking water, I've also started taking these vitamin C tablets, which I'm not sure if they've helped. I just got recommended them, but obviously my skin has cleared up quite a lot in the last few weeks. It's not red. It's not sore. I've still got like the odd little mark or scar that might not go, but overall, like it's so much better. It's like I said, it's not sore, that was the main thing. It was sore, it was lumpy, where now it's not as bad, thankfully. So vitamin C tablets, I got the vitamin C with bioflavonoids and rose hip. I'm not sure if I've said that right, but we're gonna go with it. I'll link everything below. I got these off Amazon and these are 1000 mg and this is a six month supply. I think it was around £10. I'm not too sure though, but I will link it below. So starting with a morning routine, I cleanse my face on a morning. I used to only use this, but we're going to get into this a little bit later on. So on a morning, I use this one. I don't know how to say this brand. Is it Kira V or Cira V? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's this brand. And I use the Hydrate and Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I use this on a morning, just on its own, just do one cleanse because obviously the night before I have washed my face. Um, I double cleanse on a night time, but like I said, we'll get into that. So this one on a morning on its own is what I use. So after I've cleansed my face on a morning, I use the Pixie Glow Tonic. So I put it on a cotton pad and I just dab it around my face. I usually start at the top because I'm more spotty here. So I'll start at the top and then when I get to my chin, I'll flip it over and dab around my chin. So I use this after cleansing my face. So after cleansing and toning, I'll let the toner kind of like set into my face and then I'll go in with a simple moisturiser. This is the only moisturiser I used to use. I now have a different one for a night time, but we're going to get into that. I keep saying that. This is the one I use in the morning. Let the toner sink in and then use this. It is the Hydrate and Light Moisturiser 12 hour moisturisation by Simple. The thing I've been trying to do is not wear makeup like every single day. Now sometimes for jobs like the modelling and whatever, it's quite hard because I have to have makeup on for that. But with the personal training, I try and just not wear makeup. Um, if you weren't aware, that's my other job. I do modelling and personal training. Um, so when I'm at the gym, I try and not wear anything, even if I'm not exercising. Just any day I can get without makeup, that is what I'll do. I'll just not wear any at all and let my skin breathe. Now, another little tip that I was given, I put like a post on Facebook and I had so many lovely people comment on it. And honestly, it's been like a lifesaver. Another little tip is not to spray perfume on your neck because the fragrance gets onto your face. So I've not been spraying it like near my chin. It's been going on my clothes and on my wrists only. I've just not 
had it here been avoiding it because anything that can help I was willing to give it a go and another little tip that I got given was wash your face with cold water I don't use hot water now I don't know the science behind it but I've been doing it um and obviously it I think it's worked I think it's because warm water opens your pores up so you're washing your face and you're opening your pores up ready for all this like dirt to get in where if you're using cold water you're closing your pores so once you've washed your face they're all closed clean nice etc so yeah use cold water instead of warm hot water to wash your face with so on to a nighttime routine i double cleanse on a night as i said before so the first cleanser i use is the simple moisturizing facial wash it is 100 percent soap free clean and kind beauty and yeah i just find this one really gentle it's also cruelty free i use this one first because this one gets makeup off better than this one but yeah, cleanse with this one first, make sure you've got the majority of your makeup off and then I go in with this one. I found this one isn't very good for getting makeup off. That's why I use it on a morning when I'm just wanting a nice clean face from like sleeping and whatever. And then I cleanse my face again after using the simple one because my makeup's already off. So we're just doing like a deeper cleanse really. So on a night I double cleanse and then I go back in with the Pixi Glow Tonic um that's just to close my pores up again so it does sit on the bottle use am and pm or as needed so you can use it for like everyday use so just use it when you feel like you need like a nice tone glow this does create a really nice glow to be honest like i really like it for that like on a night i feel like really like plumped and nice so yeah i definitely give this a go but like i said before i'll link everything down below i think this is about 18 pounds it might be 16 but it's around that mark which i felt was quite expensive but i've been using it every morning every night and i've still got like more than half the bottle left and i've been doing that for like over a month now so the tiniest bit on one cotton pad and dab it over like i said do my chin last on the flip side of the cotton pad now after toning on a night if i have a nice big juicy spot that i need drying out i recommend pseudocrem i wouldn't have this all over my face because it is very drying um but yeah if you have like a big red spot this is what you need it's antiseptic and it does for like nappy rash eczema surface wounds sunburn minor burns acne bed sores and chillblains i don't know what they are but lifesaver when you've got like a big massive angry spot that you need drying up and lastly before i go to bed i have started using the kira cira v whatever it's called um facial moisturizing lotion this is the pm one you can get the am one as well but because i'm getting on okay with the simple moisturizer in the morning i don't feel the need to buy this one because it's more expensive but this is really nice for a nighttime moisturiser, really moisturising. This one's for normal to dry skin. You can get like products from this brand that are for like oily skin or just normal skin, combination skin, dry skin, extra dry skin, extra dry skin or very dry skin, whatever. This is the last thing I'll put on my face before I go to bed after I've let like everything else soak in. So yeah so i hope that was not too fast i know i talk quite quickly but yeah that is like everything in a nutshell what i've been doing to get my skin a little bit better with the masks and things i've also been like alternating make sure i'm not wearing like a dirty mask or like one that's already got makeup on i'm washing them and alternating i think i've got like i must have about 10 masks now it's ridiculous but it's so worth it if you're alternating and I'm not getting a spot. Um, even if you have like three, wear one, wash it, wear another one, wash it. Like just make sure you wash them every time or use the disposable ones. I'm not a fan of the disposable ones just because of like people leaving them and littering them and what they do to the environment. But obviously, yeah, I feel like they're more expensive too if you're just getting them all the time. So I definitely invest in a reusable mask, but wash it every time you wear it. It'll save your life, I promise. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to drink your water and get into some of this skincare because honestly, it has like saved my like 
masculine, my chin. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next time in another video.